couple of months ago, I posted a video of this printer, which I designed using my Mindstorm ZV3 kit. And in that video, I explained how it all worked. Today, I'm going to show you a way of getting it to print text on demand using a system that's been around for almost 200 years, Morse code. Now, there are several ways of getting information to an EV3 brick, but I wanted to keep it as simple as possible, and it doesn't get much simpler than Morse code. All you need to implement it is a single touch sensor. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Morse code, it's essentially just a way of encoding text using a sequence of short and long signals, often referred to as dots and dashes. So, for example, three dots represents the letter S, and three dashes represents the letter O. And here you can see the S and the O have been printed out. I built this handy Lego reference booklet so I didn't have to memorize all the codes. And right now I just have a program to recognize the basic Latin alphabet, but it can certainly be extended. I won't go into too much detail here about the programming. You can find more detailed information about how it all works along with the building instructions and program file over on my website at jkbrickworks.com. One thing I will mention is that in addition to just using a single EV3 to do the encoding and printing, I designed it so that you can use a second EV3 to do the encoding and transmitting and one EV3 just to do the receiving and printing. And I even designed a nice little telegraph key here around this touch sensor to do that, which you saw in the introduction. So I can tap out a code here. This EV3 will encode it, send it to this one over Bluetooth, which will print it out on the printer. As I said, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty details about how all this works, you can check out the blog post and program file on my website. As always, 